Yo, what up everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of X Television. Now for this one, what's EA Sports? Oh my god, old school and uh, shitty quality uh, camcorder footage off of TV. Apologize for that, we're still working on it. We don't have a capture card or anything. But are you guys ready? Oh my god, NHL 94, yes! Uh, this video is a little shout out to the Portland Retro Gaming Convention. That uh, just happened a little bit of, bit ago. Uh, you know, here at XTV, we're huge fans of esports and of video games, and that love goes way back, way back. Now uh, you'll hear some background noise. We had a little party going on, and uh, very special event: X Time Family Grudge Match. It's going to be Boston versus Pittsburgh. Boston is my brother Chris. Pittsburgh is myself as the Green Star, and my cousin Tony as the orange star yes it is two on one it's a little bit unfair but uh that's you know it's just how how the teams are you know you don't necessarily play hockey with the teams you want play talk hockey with the teams you have and uh it's been a, a long rivalry ever since the games ga came out we've been playing this uh it, it goes deep we have all sorts of things we do i gotta change our lines real quick before we get started here and uh, we uh, noticed that way back in the day, uh, Pittsburgh, we used to always be the home team. My brother would be the away team. And then he actually found out that the home team in this game gets an advantage while the away team uh, is kind of at a disadvantage because of that. So this game, we let him play home, but usually we play like a two game series. This is just a one game battle. And uh, also, fortunately, the camera batteries run out. Thanks a lot, Bumpasaurus. So uh, it's a little bit short, but here we go. The action, Eckstein's got the puck and the green star. And we started off with an offsides. Womp 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 womp. This game is awesome though. One of the best hockey games ever. It's just balanced competition, good times. Uh, the two on one though is a little brutal. As uh, Pittsburgh, we laying down some hate. Now Lemieux coming down with the, with the puck. Oh, goes to the tornado. Brother Chris on the Boston Bruins switches over to the goalie and saves everything. Nice little breakaway from him, and then gets put down. Take a seat, yell. Good passing from the Penguins. Lemieux picks up the puck, but now he's stuck behind the goalie. And I was like, oh man, I know I'm gonna get an interference call for that. But uh, Boston can't get anything going. And Larry Murphy, number 55, says, sit down, punk. But uh, it's Mario Lemieux, he's gonna be doing the sitting right now. Two minute penalty for interference, shucks. But uh, we win the face off here and this game's crazy because it's like, it's almost actually an advantage to be shorthanded. You see, we almost pulled off that goal there. Me and my cousin Tony got some good coordination, uh, but brother Chris with the breakaway there, I, I had to put a stop to him, checked him down, and the penalty shot, what can he do, what can he do? Oh my God, nothing, stuffed! Good manual goalie defense there. Man, I love this game. Me and my cousin, we play this so much. We got like secret code names for all the different goals we score. You better believe it. You'll be you'll be hearing some of them later. But right now, Chris Boston at the disadvantage, playing by himself. Good chance there. Oh, we missed the pass. Sometimes the players just don't pick it up. Would have been a great breakaway. And uh, computer doesn't know how to play when uh, they actually have the power play. They end up giving up all these breakaways and stuff. Chris doing what he's can, doing a little ducking and weaving. Oh, near post goal. Yeah, Ron Francis sliding it in there. Uh, we definitely have a, a name for that one, but uh, I can't quite remember. And uh, you gotta watch out for the break, the uh, opening face off breakaways, all about that. <laughs> oh man, making his head bleed. Uh, out for the period, unfortunately not out for the game. And now the Pittsburgh Penguins down two men. But nonetheless, we do have a 1-0 advantage. Um, you know, normally I try not to show any bias in my commentating, but uh, considering I'm playing the game right here, and it's the Pittsburgh Penguins, and it's the final rivalry, uh, no grudge. Oh, look at that defense, just clogging the box, not let him get a pass. He tries to go past again, going for the squatting Buffalo, but alas, uh, shut down in the box, nothing happening. But a Boston with a good move here, kicking the puck around, trying to open it up. Oh, he goes for the pass, but player not quite in the right position for the one timer there. So uh, Pittsburgh, uh, I think we got our, I think we got, yeah, we're back up to four now. So just trying to hang on there for another 50 seconds. And uh, Boston trying to wiggle around here, just holding on to the puck, get some action going. But the pass missed. Larry Murphy rushing forward, picks it up. Had to stutter step there to make sure we didn't get the offsides call. Uh, but uh, we pick up the puck again, and Stevens, oh, see, I was trying to pass the guy in the middle, 
And the pass went to the wrong player, and again, stuck behind the net. Interference call. Mm. So uh, that's uh, three penalty calls for Pittsburgh. Uh, we play dirty. That's how it goes. A uh, little face off, only a couple seconds left in the first quarter. Our first period, excuse me, excuse me. Messing up my sports terminology there. And uh, period over, so uh, it's looking good for Boston. And uh, just giving you a heads up, the video is going to end in, in three minutes. I would like to do the whole series for you guys, but I know maybe it's a little too much for some of you. But, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the NHL 94. We love it. We love esports in general. Uh, obviously, TF2 is our focus, but. Uh, it's all good. It's just competitive gaming. That's what it's all about here. So uh, still, uh, still Pittsburgh with the 1-0 lead. Let's see what else we got in the bag here. And uh, Boston gets the puck off the faceoff. Now pushing in. Decent chance. Oh! Shoving him into the bench. Huge check. Working the puck. Holding on to it. Mm, let's see what's happening. The, opens, the, the center's opening up a little bit. But uh, old Samuelson just working the puck, holding around. Oh, now he's coming across. Oh, squatting Buffalo. Crowd goes crazy. Yeah, we, we do have uh, terminology for all sorts of different uh, scoring goals. There's the Trixie Possum. Uh, let's see, the, the Forsaken Dragon, although that's actually when uh, a play doesn't happen. Nice nice attempt by Cousin Tony there. Um, he, uh, he got blocked, though. Uh, let's see, Snapping Dragon, Trixie Possum, the Ram's Head, the Bobsled, uh, the Sea Turtle, Sea Turtle. Did I say Trixie Possum already? Man, I don't know. But uh, you can see this, uh, this game is still tight, but, uh, you know, family rivalry and uh, these games, how they normally go, I think uh, Pittsburgh has the uh, overall winning record. Boston was on a pretty good streak for quite a while there, but uh, you know, uh, just the gaming skills of Eckstein overpowering the family. Just look at that with Larry Murphy just laying down the checks. There's another br uh, brutal check. Now let's see what. Oh no, talking, trying to make it happen. 66 Lemieux in front of the goal, but he gets blocked by the defender and uh, offsides by uh, Boston. Playing uh, one player is a little bit tough for my brother. And the computer doesn't quite know how to hang with the offsides. We've debated turning offsides off for his benefit. So the computer knows what's up. My cousin is trying to trying to get in there and gets put down brutally. We got Tocket uh, trying to hold holding the puck, trying to get up there with the offsides though. Now pushing forward. See if he can get a pass in front of the goal or just working himself. Oh my god, look at that bullshit. Tocket scoring the goal, but player laying down right in front of the goalie should have been a, a fourth interference call I don't know actually I think the third but anyways about 30 seconds left in this game uh, you know the floodgates are open we don't score there but I think we'd end up being a 7-0 victory for Pittsburgh cousin Tony wanted me to state explicitly that he picked up two goals in this game afterwards he was pissed that the camera battery died and uh, no one got to see him score that's all right uh, we all we all know what happened, but thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you guys had fun enjoyed this video We'll be back with more TF2 soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out